Hi, my name is Steven and today I will show you how to install MySQL Server on macOS 10.9 Mavericks. After that I will show you the basics of MySQL Workbench. So let's begin. As you can guess we need to download MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench. Why? I will explain you later. So open your web browser and go to dev.mysql.com. Then click on Downloads and click on MySQL Community Server. Scroll down and now you need to select the DMG archive which corresponds to your system architecture and to your operating system version. So in my case it would be this one. Then click Download, just click the link below. No thanks, just start my download. While the file is downloading, we go back to Downloads to download the MySQL Workbench. So scroll down and click on MySQL Workbench and download the file just like you did with MySQL Server. Then open the downloaded MySQL Server DMG package. The MySQL Server package is taking place. Click three times Continue. Confirm the installation by clicking Agree. Then click Install. When the installation has finished, click Close. The next step is to install the MySQL Startup Item Package. Open the package and just like the installation before, let everything by default. Now open the MySQL Pref pane to install the MySQL Preferences into the Mac System Preferences. Then you can choose if you want to install MySQL Preferences pane for just this user or for all users on this computer. As you can see, the MySQL Server instance is stopped. So click on Start MySQL Server. Now the instance changed into running. Also check the checkbox, automatically start MySQL Server on startup. Now we will install MySQL Workbench. So open the downloaded MySQL Workbench DMG package and you will get this window. Then drag the MySQL Workbench icon to the Applications folder, like this. Once that is done, go to your Applications view and launch MySQL Workbench. And now, when you click on the plus icon, you can set up a new connection. Give your connection a name, for example, and click OK. Open the created MySQL connection. Now you will see the Query Editor. Here you can create, for example, a database schema and tables in a graphical user interface. To create a table, you need to create the database schema first. To create a new schema, click on the New Schema icon. Give the schema a name, for example, DB Person. Then click Apply. Now you will see the SQL query. Then click Apply again and close. To create a new table, go to DB Person. Under Tables, make a right click and click Create Table. Now you can give your table a name, for example, TBL Person. You can insert some fields, ID Person, and you can set a primary key, not null value, and an auto increment. Lastly, you can set other fields, like for example, the person's name, DT name, for example. It will be a text because it has the data type varchar, which is 45 characters long. You can also set another field, for example, the person's age, and for this case, an integer might be more appropriate. Click Apply, a new SQL query appears for creating the new table. So click Apply and Close. To fill your table with data, you need to go under your create a table, in this case TBL person, and right click and click select rows. Now here you can write a whole SQL query or you can use a graphical interface to fill your table with data. So for example, a name, Steven, and an age. another person. So when you have finished you click apply and now you are going to insert data into your table. Click apply and close. Delete your table with a right click on TBL person and then click drop table. 
confirm with drop now. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.